Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about uh, Cody Stamen versus Taylor Lapalus. Cody Stamen, 21 wins, six losses, one draw. He's two and three in his last five fights, fighting Douglas Silva, DeAndrade in his last one. I thought uh, Andrade won that, if I remember correctly. I thought it was a little bit, little close going to the scorecards. 34 years old, 5'6", with a 64 and a half inch reach, fighting Taylor Lapalus, who's 19 and four, coming off off the loss against Farid Basharet. Again, 19 and four, four and one, his last five fights. 32 years old, 5'6", with a 73 inch reach, eight and a half inch reach for Taylor Lapalus. Same height though. The the one thing I see in this matchup is Taylor Lapalus is a is a good grappler. That's how he came back to the UFC was his grappling. You know, he has 10 finishes, six of them by submission, has seven first round finishes, five of them in the first round. Four and two in the UFC, like I said, came back against Cologne, Kalan uh, Lockerin and grappled him. I mean, that that's what he did. So what, ha what happens in that? So I think Cody Stamen is a better grappler. The length may give him a bit of an issue, uh, the striking is decent from Taylor Lapalus. I wouldn't say it's anything crazy, but Cody Stamen, I think, has more power, even though it's going to be really hard for him to get on. So we're probably going to see a grappling match because of the length, because Cody's going to have to get on the inside. So what, is, what does that mean? Eight, uh, nine finishes total for Cody Stamen. Not a big finisher in the UFC. He has one finish. He has uh, five finishes in the first round. Four of them are TKO. Only one submission has been submitted twice. Um, but I like Cody Stamen in this one. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Peace.